All right, so we're here at the home. Just wanted to walk through for production guys, just what we're looking for. So we are looking at all the trim work and all the siding on this house. Um, the storm windows are being left alone. We'll just paint around. We'll actually paint some of the storm windows because they've been painted, but we are not removing the storms. We're not painting any wood windows that have storms on them, just the trim around them. And if the storm has been painted, we're painting that. So the siding's gonna go a gray color. Um, you do have a couple uh, pieces of wood repair or epoxy. So one board that needs to be replaced is this rake board on this dormer here. This door frame needs to be epoxied as well. Um, the alternative is taking off that storm door and I don't really wanna take that storm door off. So um, I'm quoting to just epoxy those areas. Another area is along this rake, this dormer, or along the roof line, this rake board as well, here. Uh, this home does have probably a high likelihood of having lead-based paint on it. Um, it is in proper pool area, so obviously we'll have to take proper precautions in regards to that. You can see here there's quite a bit of scraping to be done on this side. Um, this this trim piece right here I think needs to be replaced probably about 20 foot or so uh, looks like a decorative trim piece um, so just try to match it as close as possible uh, you've got more windows this outer portion this like little cover over the window we'd also be painting it's got some rust at the bottom of it um, but siding trim windows no doors just the frame itself Obviously we want to make sure we wash really well on these sills and you can see on the drip edge over there quite a bit of mold. Can you shut that? All right, and then quite a bit of scraping, caulking around windows, all that kind of stuff that we normally do, but it's probably a higher, uh, higher priority or higher need on this house. So quite a bit of scraping as you can see here. Same thing over here, quite a bit of scraping on this side. Make sure we caulk the siding to the chimney there. Um, there's probably a high likelihood that there's more wood than I'm showing you that needs to be replaced. But on this side, I think the only thing that needs to be replaced is this one by six right here. That's the only thing that presents itself to be bad to me. It's really hard to tell with all the bubbling paint on it, uh, what is bad, but there are a lot of boards that need to be re-tacked to the house. So just wanted you to be aware of that. So a lot of it will present like this where it's bubbled out, but it's not soft underneath. It's just multiple layers of paint coming off. And then you've got this back here. Um, again, quite a bit, there's potential that this could be bad. I can't tell, I can't reach that. Um, but just wanted you to be aware of it. On the back side, um, you've got a couple of pieces of siding that have cracked in half that need to be replaced down there at that base and then the windows the door frames there's a garage door on this back side here um, and the siding and the trim work on the back of the home uh, there are no gutters and downspouts to be painted those are black those are newer uh, so we'll leave those alone so that's pretty much here at the home if you have questions obviously let me know